What's up, YouTube? It's Cards with Michael. And today, we're finally going to open some Double Masters Collector Booster boxes. Yeah, that's right, Collector Boosters with the little S here. Uh, there are some Walmart retail packaging that has these kind of at, it just says Collector Booster, but these are boosters. So there's four each. We have our two sponsors, Adam and Lenny. Thanks so much for sponsoring these. We'll open Adam's first. All right, get us some bright lights up in here. And let's get to it. So I have never opened these yet. I know what the contents are, um, but I just haven't opened any of these at this time. So let's go ahead and open one of these. All right, or no return. Double Masters, what a set. Uh, a lot of fortunes have been made from this set. A lot of money has been made from this set. Like this is probably the most profitable magic set we've had in my lifetime of being in this business, which is only three years. Um, these, of course, at the distributor level originally were uh, just under 190, um, give or take a couple dollars. So like 187, 184, 193, depends on the, which distributor, right? All right, Adam, let's open one of these for you guys. And now they're 325, last I checked on TCG player. Um, they come eight to a case, unlike the original VIPs, which came 16 to a master case and four per inner case. Anyways, let's go. We got our foil commons. There's five of these foil commons. Most valuable one is probably the apostle. All right. Got two foil uncommons. One bounty the luxa, a downshift. And our borderless commons and uncommons. There's always two. We got rampant growth and Boros garrison. Rampant growth, one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Then we have our foil borderless commons and uncommons. Here we go. Ooh, we got internal witness and a spell pierce. These are good ones, these are good ones. And now we got the spice, here we go. Here's our first, we're calling this a traditional frame, traditional foil, all right? So that's a damnation, beautiful hit with a little bit of a print line issue right there, but definitely sleeve playable. Nice clean card, follows the Wrath of God text where it's just in the center, no flavor text. And our other one is an ex borderless Forbidden Orchard, which is pretty good, not that bad. All right, beautiful card. And here we have our etched foil, which is a Ruithar, the Unbowed, all right? And finally, hey, look at that. A foil borderless concordant crossroads, as well as our double-sided token, in this case, a boring soldier zombie token. That is a nice hit. Foil borderless concordant crossroads, all right? And that's that'll reprint. On to pack number two. There are, of course, so many hits possible in these packs that uh, I don't think you'll open a box and get any repeats. Um, just, just a nice product overall. Nice little wallet drainer. Money aggregator. That's the nicknames I've been giving Double Masters 2022. All right, here we go. We got some more foil commons or foil uncommons. Biogenic upgrade. Thought Scour is our borderless. Terminate, second borderless card. A beautiful foil borderless coiling oracle, right? Richard Kane Ferguson got a foil borderless terminate and a traditional frame, traditional foil splinter fright. I say traditional foil because there are three types of foils in this set. There's the traditional foil. Uh, oh, that's a nice one. A Phyrexian altar borderless. Great hit. And then, of course, next we have the etched foil. Here we have Elsha of the Infinite. Beautiful card. And finally, our foil borderless. Oh my gosh, what a pack. Double Phyrexian Altar. That is really nice. One of the more valuable cards in the rare slot. Just a nice card to behold. All right, as well as a spirit and bear token. All right, beautiful. Happy to see it. Great hits. Okay, on to pack number three for Adam. Here we go. We got our foils, commons and uncommons. All right, and foil uncommon and foil uncommon. The myth realized, of course, is another downshift. We have the Burning Tree Emissary Borderless. All right, Celestian Sanctuary, our Karoo Land. Foil Borderless Thought Scour. Foil Borderless Demir Aqueduct. And a Foil Rare Shatter Gang Brothers from one of the original Commander sets that I think this is 2014, I want to say. 
A thousand year storm borderless rare. Not the spiciest, not the spiciest. And oh my goodness. We got a Renin 6 etched foil. Um, I think this is not as valuable, I want to say, as the foil. Um, I'm not exactly sure where it is. I'll, I'll probably overlay these with prices, but this is just one of the best hits. Of course, the most valuable hit right now is the Renin 6 textured foil. This is just an etched foil. And a foil Thousand Year Storm, another kind of like a duplicate with the borderless and foil borderless slot. Renin 6, really nice hit. Congratulations, Adam, getting the spice here in a Thousand Year Storm. All right, pack number four. Can we get something else? Can we get like a, a little Imperial Seal maybe? Those are still worth some good monies. I didn't think they would... Uh, stay above 100, but they're still above 100. So that's kind of been surprising me. I thought they would be like a $40, $30 card by this time. All right, here we go. Coiling Oracle, Young Pyromancer, Foil Borderless Monastery Swift Spear, Azorius, Azorius Chancery Karu Foil Borderless. Our Foil Rare is an un Anguished Unmaking. All right. Oh, wow. We got the Emil the Blessed Borderless. Beautiful art. This is kind of like um, magic, old magic art style. I enjoy it. I like it a lot. And our borderless is a mine rack liege, right? Or sorry, etch foils, a mine rack liege. I wish all the etch foils were legendaries. It kind of, it's curious that you can get lieges. And finally, a foil ex borderless privilege position and a foil knight and elemental token. These foils look nice too. All right, privileged position. The art by Donato, beautiful art. Just an exquisite opening of a collector booster. I think these are just kind of, they did a good job with them. They're selling very well. They're, these, these, this product is performing better than I could have imagined. I really did not think Double Masters collectors would be in the 325 range for so long. I thought they would kind of be a, a sub 300 by now, but they're still performing very strong. All right. Lenny, for our box number two, thank you, Gentlemen, for sponsoring our very first opening here on the channel. I know the set's literally like, it's basically a lifetime. It's like three weeks old now. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy uh, watching these being opened. I personally think that they did a good job of the set. Um, I think that there are shenanigans afoot in terms of the pricing, in terms of the supply of this being available. Um, but I also think that nat these are just selling well. Like, it, you might have a hard time obtaining these, especially at a quote-unquote good price, but it's because people are just buying them. Like, it's not as much speculated. There is speculation, but a lot of it is also just natural demand. All right, Lenny, let's open this booster for you. He messaged me no whammies, and so we're going to try to try to get no whammies here. Got a Blood Artist. That's a little bit of value. Foil Borderless Inquisition of Cosellect. Beautiful cards. Just... These cards just tell a story. They really do. Um, it's just the same amount of quality as the VIP um, uh, boosters from the original Double Masters. These, they just tell a story. They're just so good. Rune of the Hidden Realm. We got our Blood Forge Battle Axe. Oh, no. Lenny told me he got a bunch of these last time in his opening. And an Emil the Blessed Etched Foil. All right. It's a nice little treat. And... A foil borderless pan harmonicon. All right, something. Well, oh, Aldrazi Scion and Sapperly Token. All right, pack number two, Lenny. Hope to get the spice again. I mean, this the spice list is just so long, right? Like there's the Aldrazi's Mana Vault. Like it, it, I just, it's so hard to miss. I feel like on these. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uncommons, uncommons, travel prep. Got Seeker of the Way is our borderless. Simic Growth Chamber, our other borderless. Rakdos Carnarium, our borderless. Foil Borderless Rampant Growth into a Foil Weathered Wayfarer reprint from, I believe, um, I want to say Onslaught or Odyssey. One of the ones that begin with an O. Oh! And a big hit here. Dockside Extortionist. Right? Borderless, non foil. Beautiful hit. Just a beautiful hit. Into Fire Song and Sunspeaker. This, of course, was one of the buy box promos. It caused a lot of ruckus, and now they've reprinted it. So I guess I guess everyone loves wizards again. And 
Hey, can't complain. A foil borderless, colligans, command, and a foil Aven initiate, as well as an egg token. All right, we'll get these guys sleeves. Colligans command is one of my favorite cards. I played Grixis um, Delver at one of the GPs back in the day, and I went 8-1 on the first day, beating Burn, and I played Colligans Command. I boarded out Delver every single game two and game three. I played four Cryptic Commands, four Snapdragon, Snapcaster Mages, and four Colligans Commands, and that was one of my favorite decks I've ever played. And here we have a little Shadowborn Apostle. That is, I think it's like two bucks or three bucks. Foil Blood Artist, same thing. It's like a dollar or two. Young Peasy, that used to be a dollar, but no longer. We got our Unearth, our first Borderless card, our Rakdos Carnarium, Foil Borderless Unearth, and a Foil Borderless Blood Artist, also a couple of bucks. We got our Hardened Scales, Foil Rare. Did this need a reprint? Maybe. <gasps> what a beautiful Aether Vial. Holy moly. Oh man, it does remind me of the Masterpiece art for those who have seen it, or maybe have not. And a Pull From Tomorrow, Etched Rare. All right, and another hardened scales this is the foil borderless version this would have been worth quite a bit if we were in the old vip rules because these borderless cards were at the time were exclusive to the foil ones at least to the um they were exclusive to the vips but now that since you can get them the draft boosters it should be the etch foils that are exclusive but really the true cream of the crop exclusive cards are of course the textured foils which i'd love to open today but you know we gotta actually get one. And apparently they're one per case, so one in every eight. So ooh, these are kinda we got so this one was not off center, neither was the unearth. But this is un like pretty off center. Look at that. Holy moly, that's actually whoa, okay. Are these cards okay in the back? Yeah, these cards are okay in the back, but look at this. It looks like this whole print run. Look at that. This is fresh out of the pack and already some damage. But this is actually a gorgeous misprint. Um, you can't see the next card, but I think it qualifies. And here, this next advanced stitch wing, same thing. It's like the whole rest of the pack was just printed off. All right, let's check the back of this. Um, no damage here, but this is this is exciting. We're recording this. We have this for everyone to view, the viewing pleasure. I know that some of you guys who like collecting misprints will just enjoy just kind of watching this, you know, as we just live. Oh, that's it. That was it. Just those three cards were a little shifted. Okay, all right. These are not bad cards. Uh, Stitchwing Strands and the God's Willing, God's Willing being a playable card. Let's hope that we get some more off-center misprint stuff. Flicker Wisp, Inquisition of Kozilek, Foil Borderless, Foil Borderless, and we got Animar Solo Elements. All right, kind of one of the OG commanders. A Pything Needle, look at that art. On Spencer. Revlark is our etched foil. I do think that the etched foil foiling is still kind of whatever. Um, I kind of just wish they would just deprecate this type of foiling. I think the textured foiling is so much better and the traditional foil is not too bad. Or just do less of it, you know what I mean? And hey, we got a foil borderless Moltrotha. This is a spicy, spicy pull. I'm not sure it's worth a ton of money, but it just looks so sweet. Look at that. It's a gorgeous card and a vampire token inspired. All right, guys. Well, that is the box opening. All right. Um, we'll put the total value, I guess, of Adam's box, Lenny's box. And yeah, that's how we did. All right, guys. Hopefully you like this type of video. Leave me a thumbs up if you want me to do more. Leave me a comment on what I could be doing better or what you like that I'm doing already. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.